Tyrion is an African-focused critical metals explorer. Uh, we have 17 licenses in Morocco that are primarily um, focused on copper. We have three projects in Rwanda, which are, or I should say were tantalum focused uh, exploration projects that have now um, turned into lithium projects. And then we have four licenses in Botswana. We have one copper license in the Kalahari Copper Belt, and we have three lithium brine licenses uh, in the eastern part of the country near the Suapan. And our mandate is to, uh, f with the focus on critical metals, um, to go out, discover, uh, take those exploration assets onto the next level so that they can become development assets and partner with uh, the top names in the industry to make that happen. In the meantime, we are also trying very hard to develop a trading business out of Rwanda uh, to allow us to drive revenue, to support and reduce the dilution to shareholders. We recently signed a joint venture with Rio Tinto, and that came about as a result of our CEO geologist, who is a remarkable individual when it comes to discovering um, new regions and uh, new exploration uh, focused areas. Uh, we were working and are still working on Tantalum in Rwanda. Um, and uh, he was the one who determined that the correlation between lithium and tantalum existed in Rwanda like it does in most other places, uh, thanks to these LCT pegmatites, and decided that it would be advantageous to, for us and for Rwanda as a country if we actually explored the country and uh, explored at depth. Um, so with some geological techniques that I couldn't even tell you about, he was able to dig a bit deeper and de determine that there was um, uh, the likelihood of a very strong lithium presence. And following that, I think there's been quite a bit of press from Rio Tinto, who recently signed a transaction with the Rwandan government to expand the exploration across a significant portion of the country, uh, as well as our own press, where we've announced uh, a number of joint ventures and MOUs with various uh, mining companies in the country. And so uh, we're just really excited because we think this will be a new lithium province, um, but we're also pursuing our tantalum and niobium efforts there as well. Over the next 12 months, our focus is going to be on um, the copper assets in Morocco, and in particular on a joint venture there. We feel that we have some amazing assets. We have 17 different projects in Morocco. Uh, we have two sedimentary hosted copper projects that have uh, extensive lengths. I'm talking 16 and 24 kilometers so far, and we haven't traced out half of it, half of it yet. So that's a major focus, and we need to as well uh, drill on another project that we have called Agdes. Um, that's a structurally controlled hydrothermal uh, prospect uh, that is showing some amazing grades and in some grab samples has shown 24% copper. So uh, utilizing the relationships we have with some of the larger mining companies, we're hoping to begin exploration um, by drilling on all three of those over the course of the year. And we're hoping to announce some sort of joint venture. Uh, again, we are a small explorer, so we need to minimize our expenditure. We need to make sure that we uh, uh, minimize the dilution to shareholders and use as much of the collaboration that's endemic in the industry as we can.